Good morning. It's been great to see such strong support of our businesses with capacity restrictions lifted and more people getting vaccinated. With the warmer weather, restaurant patios are brimming with customers. Parks are filled with walkers and joggers, and we are cheering on our kids in sporting events across the region. Compared to a year ago, we're in a much better place. For those who have not yet been vaccinated, we strongly encourage the use of masks when visiting a business or when unable to social distance outside. For those who are fully vaccinated and want to keep wearing a mask, please do. The majority of our residents are still not vaccinated, so I understand the hesitancy to go some places without a mask. Some businesses are encouraging masks, so please be respectful of the employees and customers in those businesses. They are relying on those who are unvaccinated to be honest and to wear a mask. Our businesses are trying to operate safely and we want them to be successful. We ask everyone to do their part. Over the past year, governments have had the Herculaneum task of responding to a pandemic while continuing to deliver the services residents expect. Last year, St. Louis County received $173.5 million in CARES Act funding to assist us in our response. My office partnered with the County Council to design and administer a small business relief fund, providing more than $23 million in grants to more than 2,300 businesses. From the beginning of the pandemic, St. Louis County committed to supporting municipalities and we set up a program to help them with costs related to COVID-19 response and recovery. 86 of our 88 municipalities applied for and received a total of $46.6 million. Our municipalities were hit with unexpected expenses during the pandemic, specifically in public safety. Providing these funds to municipalities and ensuring services were available for county residents was a top priority. We also distributed more than $10.5 million to nonprofit partners for food security programs, $5.9 million for child care programs, $9.5 million for humanitarian relief funds, and $5 million to the St. Louis County Library to purchase Chromebooks and hotspots for students and GrandPad tablets for older adults. We also provided $7 million in housing stabilization. As the pandemic continued into 2021, it was clear help with rental and utility assistance was pressing. It was a growing need. On January 5th, the Treasury Department launched Emergency Rental Assistance Program and St. Louis County received $29.7 million. Through President Biden's American Rescue Plan, St. Louis County is expected to receive another $29.8 million for the program. After the County Council voted to accept these funds, I signed the bill into law last week, allowing St. Louis County to receive this critical grant. These additional funds will help stabilize families struggling to stay housed. For more information on the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, please go to stlcorona.com. A few weeks ago, I mentioned that we we're adding more and more community partners to help make vaccines more accessible. Places of worship have long served as a place for families to turn to for guidance, safety, and trust. Today, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Shalom Church in Berkeley will hold a neighborhood vaccine clinic. The Pfizer and the J&J &J vaccines will both be available and walk-ups are welcome. The address is 6136 Garfield Avenue. Thank you to Reverend Clark and his staff at Shalom for holding this event. And as a reminder, tomorrow we will have our first partnership event with the St. Louis County Library. Vaccines will be administered inside the Lewis and Clark Branch meeting room from 2 to 6 p.m. The address of that branch is 9909 Lewis and Clark Boulevard in Moline Acres. Vaccines are free and no appointment is necessary. This will be the first in a series to be offered at St. Louis County Library branches over this spring and summer. The St. Louis County Department of Public Health will be staffing the event along with members of the North County Fire and Rescue and the library system. Tomorrow's library event will include book giveaways and a visit from the St. Louis Metro Market, a nonprofit mobile farmers market. We continue looking for community partners. The health department can provide the vaccine and the vaccinators. All you need to do is provide the place and a group of folks who will like the vaccine. 
And if you'd like to become a vaccine partner, you can find more information at stlcorona.com. Thank you, and I'd be happy to take any questions. Dr. Page, we don't have any questions submitted today. Okay, thank you.